Okay. So what you're saying is this is not a Pony Express Bible? It is definitely not official Pony Express Bible. Well, that's not good. A Pony Express Bible would go exponentially more than this. At least double, definitely into the five figures, big deal, all right? Overland Mail was a slower, slightly different complimentary company, but I would still put the value about uh, six to $7,000. Oh, really? In that shape? In that shape. Okay, because I was thinking you were going to say, like, 300 bucks. <laughs> well, it's still part of the American West, and there weren't that many of these. It's not a surprise that it's kind of destroyed. All right. You're the best. Yep. I had no idea this thing would be worth that much, especially when it's not actually a Pony Express Bible. But it's a great piece of Americana, so I'm going to try and buy it. Well, it's not a Pony Express Bible. What do you realistically want for it? I really want five grand for it. I'm not gonna do five grand. What will you do? 2,500. Yeah, I can't take 2,500. It's gonna sit for a while. I mean, you gotta find the right customer. 99.9% .9 of the people in the population don't have that much kind of money to spend on a book. Some of these collectors are passionate, though. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are, but you have to find them. All right, why don't you give me four grand for it? Then? No. No, huh? No. So what's your best, man? My best is 3,000. I won't go up any more. You won't go 35? Nope. Yeah, you will. Nope. I'll go $3,000. All right, you got a deal. I'll take it. All right. Um, you want to write them up? Yeah, come with me, man. You want to deal with that? It looks delicate. 